All right, boys, got a gameplay for you. Today we're going to be in the Vikings defensive playbook. I mean, we're going to be in the Lions offensive playbook. And we're going to be running 146. I do think this defense has a lot of potential. It's one of my favorite defenses to run. And uh, some cool stuff we're doing out of it. If you guys want to check out my entire Minnesota uh, defensive ebook or my Vikings offensive ebook, that is all going to be available by joining our school membership. If you're not a school member yet, the link to sign up for the school site is going to be uh, in the description down below. So if you want to check that out, again, that link is going to be available down in the description. 10 bucks gets you access to everything for college football 25 and for Madden 25. So if you want to check all that out, uh, again, that's all linked down below. All right, so today we run some crossfire, trying to get some pressure and uh, trying to switch stick. The beauty of this defense is switch sticking. This is the whole point of running this. We don't really, that's the main reason why we're running this, honestly. So we're trying to switch stick out of it. My switch stick's honestly getting kind of bad. So we're trying to work on that a little bit this game too, some theories behind it. Uh, but the basics of this game is this cover four shell. You want to be in a cover four shell generally, and then you're going to kind of adjust out of that. Um, apparently this guy is just John Beast. I, I don't know. I think he's just hitting everything on me. Let's see how the... I don't even know if the blitz is working here. I'm going to shade out you there. Maybe this Coke will play the whip. Um, that was a good run right there. Kind of mix it up on me. But... Uh, yeah, defense is in a really, really, really bad spot. Let's go with the soft squad now over here. He's going to throw right at that vert hook. There we go. Adjustments. That's like the first time all year that an adjustment actually mattered. Oh, he's going to get out of there. Go, Dawkins. Go. Do what you do, boy. Let's go. Got a reservation for six in the end zone, boys. So 146 to me is kind of the new dollar. Uh, there's a couple vulnerabilities. So the first one is there's a little bit of a tell in the blitz you're running, whereas in dollar there isn't uh, or there wasn't a tell. So you could be running three, four different defenses. This one is kind of a, at least a tell for the crossfire blitz, uh, which is unfortunate. And then the other thing about this defense that is kind of important to know is the the slot corner pressure is a little different uh it's a little different than db fire there's kind of a specific some specific things you need and then also you can't pinch your d-line uh, can't really pinch your d-line or pinch your defense like you can in dollar uh, so those are some of the things that i don't love about it but the crossfire blitz is really good so uh, I think the crossfire blitz is kind of a simple sin for that gets you pressure, gets you enough pressure. Um, and then you can, again, the whole point, the whole point of the defense is to switch stick out of this, right? hundred percent. So there we go. Oh, we dropped a pick. What a shocker. Classic Madden 25. This game is so bad for drop picks. All right. Right here, going to kind of mix it up on him a little bit. Give him the same look, but we're in a little different defense here. Ah! Totally had him, too. But honestly, with switch stick, I will say, I think the best way to learn switch stick is to put yourself in a cover four shell and basically just switch stick onto the quarters. There we go. Good D. And you'll see, I mean, if you switch stick on these quarters, the inside quarters is really what you're you're looking for. And really the key is like identifying where they actually go with like what's the concept, what's gonna be open versus the coverage that you need to guard. Kind of the, the key. Okay, a little motion cross. Oh, I ran my guy out of the way. <laughs> Still got the stop. I will say, too, switch stick scares the crap out of people. So sometimes you'll just get stop off. You'll get stops off that aura, right? Off that aura, off that mentality. 
So, and sometimes you'll give up stuff. Honestly, you will. But in this game, with how this game plays, you gotta have something. So we have switch there. Oh, I was I was throwing the ball, bro. He was open. He was so open. All right. So I mean trips. I like trips a lot. This is simple, good offense. He's gonna blitz everybody on his team, and I can ah, second time won't let me throw my touchdown. Love when Madden does that. I love when they don't let you throw the ball to wide open players. Not gonna lie, I don't really like Dak. I don't really like Dak. Starting to really not like him in real life either. But he is what he is. All right. So he's blitzing everybody. So this is normally a really good combo if he's blitzing everybody. Yeah, buddy. That's a shout out to the users, man. They just you just can't guard anything. But basically, I got, I'm trying to think about switch to conceptually. Like, if you think about most plays, most plays are floods to one side or the other. So like, it's a high low read to the right or a high low read to the left. Generally speaking. With switch stick, you can choose the inside corner that's the back side and use that to work that basically. So that's the idea. All right, let's see if we can just give us a free touchdown here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that. Very good. Let's see if we can stop. My switch sticks, honestly, I haven't been very clean. I'm gonna try to be a little cleaner with my switch stick this drive too. And if you guys don't know, switch stick is the feature you need to learn, honestly. Like, it's kind of like freeform passing. Like, if you think about it, it's going to affect every single thing you do offensively. If you learn this switch stick concept uh, and, and how to kind of build around it, I think it's like the sky is really the limit. We've barely scratched the surface of, you know, how powerful this, this feature is. But basically, by flicking the right joystick in any direction, you can, you can, switch on to a player this is why dollar and formations like dollar are the best because they're symmetrical and the layout of the formation allows you to switch stick really really cleanly across the defense so the idea of like a send four with a good switch i think is really relevant all right there we go he tried to go to that play this here that's a good route combo that got across real quick I'm trying to think about car like I'm telling you this cover four if it's a good cover four switch stick it's I think it's the hardest to beat because you have that yellow zone in the middle. You have both flat covered immediately. Switch sticking onto flats or switch sticking onto quarters to me is the best way to do it. I'm going to try to send it like this. Eh, I just can't make a flash during the submissions. But it really puts concepts that don't... Basically, it puts a lot of things like back on the table defensively but mainly the the biggest thing is it's like concepts like this where he's running where he doesn't have like a clear out that's a good route combo he's trying to be he's trying to be very very horizontal with this concept all right let's get back in double safety go here crossfire i'm gonna put a vert hook and this is where like you mix in like the soft squat vert hook combo if he's running the slant post stuff like he's doing here there we go. There's that pressure. And you see, I don't think you need to be sending more than four in this game. I, I really don't. Like, a send five, okay, but, like, do you really, really need to be doing that? You know what I mean? I, I don't think you do. I'm going to mix in this cover two on the right. I'm trying to think how I want to switch stick, though. That's the hard part here. Sometimes you're thinking about it while you're playing. See, there's that Murdoch again. Right, so 
there's really two shells you want to be in straight cover four um or something like what i'm doing where you're playing like quarter quarter half um really 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 effective in this year's game the way it plays you don't have to um, necessarily have a half defender The quarter zones are the best zone, in my opinion. I'm going to switch stick onto this flat and try to lurk this out route. There you go. Went Blankenship. Nice play, buddy. Nice play. Way to hang tight on that. Yeah, I feel like this is this this is defense, man. This, this is defense in this game. I don't think anything else is worth trying. Like, like this kind of idea that we're showing you. Switch sticking on to players um, is is the main way you're going to get a stop. It really, truly is. I feel like my switch... Gosh, I, I don't... I got to check my settings, too, and make sure my switch stick's not messed up, because sometimes I've been trying to switch sticking and I've not been able to. Gonna have that motion play. Gotta watch for a streak. Oh yeah, that's mine. Very good. The other thing that's nice about playing defense like this is it forces stuff like that. So what happens right there is he's driving down the field, he's working, he's having some dots, but he's not getting this is one really important principle. Switch stick, if you use switch stick properly. Uh, which I'm not saying I've done every time, but I'm just saying in general, if you use switch, switch stick properly, what it can do for you is it will keep the lid on the defense. So it's hard to one play switch stick, right? Unless you're getting really aggressive with it. And so that forces them to drive up the field and allows you to be in a position where basically your user or uh, the end zone becomes kind of a different, uh, a second defender. To me, this is really important uh, in a game where it's very difficult to consistently get a stop. This is kind of the main way to get a stop. And then if you compound that with the idea that uh, you're just keeping the lid on, right? Now you're forcing more check downs, which are effective, but... Ultimately, you get them into a red zone situation where you know it's probably your best chance at getting the stop. Oh yeah, very good. I think it was cover two sink. I don't know. That was not a quarter. That was half. And then if you, the other interesting thing is if you don't quarter in this game, if you don't have two inside quarters, is really really easy to hit the seams. So you almost have to have two quarter zones. To be able to to even have a shot at playing some of the basic plays and basic formations in this game and then you see how you're kind of funneling into a coverage that is to me you know kind of a general thing we haven't really had this not only have we had a um, uh, feature in madam but also like you almost have to have inside quarters on every play so Kind of building around that with switch stick is kind of the key. So let's see if we can just kind of again just kind of keep the lid on here. And then we mix in this cover four and left, but we don't want to have to, we don't want to have to go to that a lot, honestly. So what we'll do here is if this tight end's not on a streak, we'll cut that with that switch stick. See how we were able to do that? That's the idea of switch stick. Like it takes you you can adjust to the route combination in real time on the field within the zones you put on the field that's like the theory behind it yeah watch for dig return here so he's a, or something he's a, whatever the whip route on the right auto motion this has been paired with that backside post Right. Good. And you see how when you start switching, it really forces them to check it down. But then you always have pretty much any coverage, any good defense in this game has two hard flats almost every time. 
Now, if you wanted to put some combos around that, that's where like, you know, the slant flat combo becomes really, really helpful. Oops. Ah, good read by him. Got that cover two on the right side. There's that three wreck, and there's a catch tackle. There you go. Those are how you get stops in this game. <laughs> but you have, you're almost forced, guys. I mean, seriously, you're almost forced to have to have those inside quarters, and to a degree, those outside quarters, honestly. Um, in my opinion, I think you're almost forced into having them. Because if you don't, it's just so easy to hit a seam streak. something like this so you see watch his quarters you know you almost have to play that and then if you do you see how that tight ends open if he doesn't use for that so he uses that and then you're able to just scramble out of there with, with the qb but switch stick has definitely changed everything about defense in my opinion it changes it changes how much blitzing is honestly valued like being able to switch stick is almost more important than being able to blitz this year you know, so that's kind of an interesting phenomenon. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this will work. Look at a circle. And there's the tight end. Very good. Good offensive game after the first drive or so. Not playing too bad this game. Take it. We'll take it. Try to finish this one out. But I'm telling you, switch stick has literally just changed everything I think about defense because the blitz is important. You have to always have some semblance of pressure. But if you're in a formation like 3-4 odd, it's a little hard to switch stick out of that blitz compared to out of a 4. Send, a send 4 or send 5 is a lot easier to switch stick out of than like a send 6, in my opinion. So that is... Something for consideration. Let's see it here. There you go. There you go. There was another one. That was, yeah, I'm telling you, the switch stick is king. And you don't, you don't have to have the best blitz. It just has to be a blitz that can't work. Right, that's that's the biggest thing, uh, and I think out of a sin four, I think I, that's why I think crossfire is so good because it's an uncomfortable blitz to play. If you just think about the rush lanes, it keeps you in the pocket to a degree most of the time. To me, I, I think crossfire is kind of a difficult defense to play. Even this is why cover six Willie was so powerful for so long. Like it's just hard to consistently have good pocket against an A-gap blitz, right? That has two edge contains. So you're just kind of, uh, and then you have a double or nothing on the DT. Like, All right. Let's see if we can figure something out here. Let's go with a, I'm going to go with a streak, uh, post. Let's try this play. I don't know if this will work. Let's watch this corner route. Oh, yeah. I think he was an actual man there. I'm going to stem this all the way up. Let's see if this R1 route's open. Oh, it was open. He just got bumped. I'm trying to think how I would dial up plays to counter switch stick. Not sure, honestly. A good switch stick is hard to beat. I don't care how good of a player you are. That's why I think switch stick is the like key to getting better is learning how to switch stick and like effectively, and then learning how to counter a good switch stick offensively. I do think one of the things is having to a degree like I don't know just different 
different combo combos too. Uh, to me, is kind of like a, a way in which you have to kind of counter switch it. Good defense. Good defense, sir. We'll just take what the defense gives us. I'm going to go with this play. Oh, I should have called this. Got the running back free. See, if you don't have those flat, that's the thing. Like, those are just layup throws. Like, you have, that's why I think defensively, you're almost like, you're almost forced into a cover four or a cover six type of shell. It, because if you don't do that type of shell, you either have the underneath, which is like normally the first read of the pattern, like the quick underneath stuff's wide open, or the seam streaks. Like cover three, you, you get seamed up like nobody's business if you call cover three. Um, and if you don't get seamed up, that means your yellow zones are so are going to be so far back that the drags are going to be wide open. So the point I'm trying to make is I think pretty much every defense has to – has to be in uh, some type of shell like what I'm showing here. All right. And you can do it from, um, you know, something like this too. Get a good D for a good read. You know, but again, this just forces like, I just think it's so significant that it just forces the underneath so much. It's really hard, uh, in my opinion, to one play touchdown a cover four defense. There we go. You see there's that mixing in that slot corner blitz, mixing in that loop, mixing in the crossfire. You know, got a lot of options here defensively. Now we're going to go strong eagle slant. Oh. I don't actually live with that, but honestly what I should have done is switched it to the... Uh, Hard and flat. Or another thing I could have done there, that's another thing about that play, is like that's a combo that you can switch it with the quarter. You know, so it's just stuff like this that I think is like underrated that I've been trying to learn. There, there you see. See how if he's not going to put a streak on the field, which he hasn't been. He really hasn't put a lot of streaks on the field this game. You could just you can just switch to go onto those quarters so easily, and then those basically just become like free defenders. All right, so he normally runs. That was bad defense by me. I was trying to guess what play he was calling, and I guessed wrong. I should just. Played basic defense, and I probably would have been better. But, yeah, this is just, I mean, you're seeing, like, it's just basically a 7-4 shell, but you always have those quarters. Those quarters are what save you, uh, in my opinion. Those are what make them have to at least work a little bit up and down the field, and then when they start making mistakes, you get a blitz. It really kind of bends, blends together well. trips left watch this let's see if i can get this here so i'm really reading the tight end here and if that tight end goes on a streak see how he goes on a post i just cut it just cut it immediately and then that hook curl will take the back A little soft squat out here. Kind of the same strategy. D, 
good day, good day. Yeah, I think you make, like, the learning of the game, in my opinion, is learning how to do this consistently against, like, good players. Like, this guy is not bad. He's running some meta stuff, too. Uh, but, honestly, he's not... He's not really adjusting to the switch stick really well. A little soft squad here. We ran that cross play. Yeah, see, I like that defense a little better. See how I, I was kind of anticipating that crosser play. But I, yeah, just yeah, it's just it's, it's just all about these inside quarters. And when they audible, um, let's go with a vert. Let's go with a cloud. You could, and then situationally, you could do like you have a curl flat here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I might get darted. I might get darted. Let's go with the. Eh, I don't like that. I don't like this. This could be bad. Got to cut that. Make that throw right there. You see what that does, though? Like you take away that big throw and then you force that underneath throw, but there's a guy there to tackle him. Because you're switch sticking and you're not just usering the tight end, leaving the whole middle open. That is, to me, the big, big difference of switch stick that you 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 have now defensively to be able to cover stuff. Let's go Saquon. Earn your keep, buddy. But offensively, I think the best counter to switch stick is just being able to attack, like, babe, honest, I don't know for sure the best, but because I just feel like a good switch stick is still really hard to beat. But, like, the best counter of it is kind of high low in that, that flat. There, I get hummed at. That didn't work out. Why well, I want to go no huddle here, I have no idea, but we're going to try it. If Dak can get up, he's looking a little wo little wobbly. Looking for this corner route, honestly. I do think the other thing that's like low-key the best counter to switch stick is high points. It really is high points. I just wish there was more, like, and, and I think just the, the more the game goes on, there's, like, the more Madden... 25 is played you're gonna start to see more of a knowledge gap to it but to me like right now it's not it's not really that much of a knowledge gap it's more of like a user skill gap i'd like to see it be more of a knowledge gap thing and that's where i said i've been you know putting a lot of time and trying to trying to kind of think about like what would be a good route combo that would be hard for them to switch stick. That's that's to be the question. Ah, we he's humming at me out of this. This cub just sending the sending the dogs out of cub, huh? Let's go to tight open here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, I thought that was, uh, I think this is just straight up match. If he's just running straight up match, we should, we should go to this play. Now that I think about it. All right, if I have enough time, circle should be open. He's not open. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, that match beater not, might not be a match beater anymore. We must have patched it. That was one of my best match beaters. Now it just doesn't work. All right. Gonna send five out here. Gosh dang, he's humming. He's humming at me. He got his stop. He deserved that. That was a good stop by him. I might have to try that cover four show too version of that blitz see if i can get that to work that was that's some good pressure there all right first and 10 for my opponent back to the old switch stick rule and we're just gonna set this so when they do this this is almost always 
Yeah, see, I don't, I don't mind that. That's like, see, that's a tough completion through zones. Like, you know, eventually, that but we take away the main big stuff. It's, So I'm starting to think on that play. I want to switch stick off of that and try to go guard that in route, honestly. And I don't want to be on the flat to do that. He's just never streaking anybody here. Yeah, buddy, there it is. You see, eventually they're going to throw you something. They're going to mess up underneath. You always have those flat defenders, so you take away the layup throws, and you make them have to throw the ball. This is, this is truly like, like he's not obviously like he's not, you know, just he's not elite necessarily, but this conceptually is, I think, how you play defense in this game. I really do. I think this is the only true possible way that you can play defense in this game. Now. Where this is where I think if you want to learn how to play really good offense in this game, this is what I would say. If you want to learn how to play really good offense in this game, it's trying to, in my opinion, put these yellow zones in conflict. So, like, if you think about a cover four shell, if you just kind of visualize this, you're going to get something like this. So now we go to something like this, and, you know, now they're, they're in a lot of conflicts, hard to guard both seams. I think attacking in that kind of area of the field is going to be key long term for uh, switch stick learning how to throw the ball basically in the vert hook section of the field uh, consistently which uh, the, the key word being uh, consistently so that's why i think like flat flat combo is really valuable because it puts a lot of stress you really need three zones over there to take that away um normally you're when you're playing like a cover four you're only going to have uh, you're only going to have two. And then obviously you have to have something that they have to switch stick to, though. But, yeah, it's turned into a pretty good video on, on switch stick and the whole idea behind it and logic. I do think that defenses that are really set up well to switch stick are... Six one or these dollar based defenses, the symmetrical formations to me are a little better for switch sticking than like a nickel set would be. Um, and, and also one of the uh, elements of this is this kind of like double safeties in the box, you know, you're kind of here and then you're just kind of switch sticking. So let's see if we have a, you're anticipated here almost every time it's been this tight end post. So we just switch stick here. And that's that's a good read by him. And that's really where we break down a little bit, right? We can't it's hard to guard that. That's where that route gets a little bit of a little bit of usage. So now we have to defensively, you know, put that yellow zone over there and have to kind of kind of plan to take a return right away. You see, I mean, he just doesn't like the pressure at all. It's just enough pressure. It's not going to come in every time. It's, you know, it's really good if they five out. You're going to get them to have to start blocking somebody. And then uh, from there, that's where the idea is. And here we have a little, lot more middle of the field coverage. There you see it. This, this is, this is, it's 140 is looking pretty darn good, boys. Is the 140 back? We have those quarters. Got those clouds backing up deep. Kind of keeping the roof on. Good D. Good defensive game for us, honestly. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little breakdown here of 146 and also just how switch stick is so important defensively. If you guys want to get any of the full ebooks that break down exactly what I'm doing, those will be in our school community. Link is in the description down below.